Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radha Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards we'll take the moment to just let you know again that if you are interested in a private reading with me my website is written down there in below in the description of this video and in the website you can find all of the services and the pricing for these services as well as um, a server uh, a summer end sale is going in uh, which uh, kinda adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute reading as well so yeah pretty much that's that now let me finish my shuffle guys and uh, we can go to the spread and that is going to be a, a seven card tarot spread for the month so the first card here is going to show us <clears throat> the, the uh, past conditions and circumstances which will impact your month Leo the second card it is about the month itself and it shows us the topic for the month the third card is uh, representing uh, the uh, month outlook or it's the future outlook in other words things which are achievable so you can choose to go for them or you can choose not to go for them that depends on what kind of um, is this card pleasant or not and it, it kind of depends what um, what aims you do have for the month itself the fourth card will show us the best possible approach you can take toward the situation here toward the second card the uh, fifth card represents uh, the attitude of the people which are involved into your situation so this is going to be their thoughts you know and uh, their intentions as well and in some cases also that card could warn you for the actions that these people may take for you or against you and uh, then the next card represents the challenges to be taken these are you know <clears throat> obstructions predicaments or uh, in general what will be tough for you to push through and the last one uh, the last card it does um, wraps it up so that will be the final outcome or how the month is going to end I mean what comes out of all of these so let's see what you do have here with the first card. That will be the Six of Swords. Um, <clears throat> as they are past conditions, circumstances which are uh, inflicting your month. And this card usually uh, reflects uh, some sort of a, uh, a truce that you may have established um, in between you, you know, and some uh, parties which were, com uh, which were conflicting in between one another. Very char characteristic for that card is that you have been something like a, the, um, in between the hammer and the anvil here. So this uh, argument or this war, fight, you name it, did not concern you directly, you know. Uh, but somehow you could not profit anything from the war itself so th these people or these fighting sides of uh, <clears throat> of the matter served you well if they better excuse me if uh, if actually they they uh, have a combined forces instead of separated forces that very well could be uh, displayed for example a fight in between your co-workers and that and that fight and uh, uh, the disobedience there to do their job actually obstruct your job or that could be a fight in between a couple of friends of yours that makes you miserable you know or it, or it could be as well who knows in an argument in between your partner and your family as well so it's kind of like it puts you in a situation where you cannot stay unaffected but in the same time it the core of the situation doesn't have anything to do with you well this card here points that you have established to reach a, a truce into that conflict and now you can actually take advantage and use you know the um the advantages those parties or situations as well are offering um are offering to you to utilize a upon because that could not be as well people you know it could be also a situation the bottom line here with this card is that you have you have sat there in the in, in the threshold of um, 
on a threshold of an, an attempt to improve not just your circumstances but in general the circumstances of the of the situation either career or relationship and you succeeded so the next card here shows us the topic that will be the justice and for what it seems this month is going to be very calculative so uh, all that you will be attentive to for what it seems is to just spread accurately the responsibilities and the work that uh, and the things that has to be done for the duration of the month accordingly what I mean is that it is likely uh, here with the justice card that you may um, switch your priorities or to reprioritize certain undertakings certain activities and um, also you know projects into your career or enterprises into your relationship regardless the justice here says that for what it seems you are going to take on a turn here to be much more productive when it comes to that in either field of your life because uh, this card is associated with, uh, how can I place it, when it comes to a topic is associated with uh, giving the, uh, the, uh, the needed attitude and attention to the mother's uh, just as much as the mother's need. So you will not over exaggerate or you will not give too much attention to one deed for the expense of the other but you will be able to give just as much as it is needed so with that particular sense the justice says that this uh, this particular month will be rather uh, on the positive end for your behalf especially if you're trying to push certain um, certain projects at your job or you're trying to stabilize your relationship that will happen but it's not going to happen through emotional connection you know and through taking decisions based on your emotions but it rather is going to happen when you um juggle a little bit with your priorities and responsibilities and settle them down accordingly to their magnitude that is very important so you have to kind of measure the magnitude of the responsibility it's it's viability if i may say that way as well for the lack of a better word and uh, place it accordingly in your schedule and in your plan so you may experience shift and shuffling uh, in your plans and in your to-go list so what else can be achieved uh, in the month here? That will be the tree of uh, the tree of wands. So for what it seems, you can really get the things into a, a very tight order here. Tree of wands here for you sits that you can truly establish patterns in uh, in your months, career-wise or relationship-wise. It doesn't really matter. But these patterns that you will be able to establish will be according to your expectations and according to your performance as well. So the more um the more faithful performance you do have in there so you don't kind of slack you give the best you can etc etc the better the control will be established and the better the sustain will proceed further into the future but the three of wands also for you leo's point that you have a room to grow in this month because the three of wands sits as well of growing through challenges through um, setting in front of yourself higher aims etc etc so uh, this kind card here uh, actually concerns your belief uh, not belief not your f not believe in your faith but rather your clamor in your in your personal capabilities to and uh, expand those capabilities or rather lift the bar of the expectations of your personal capabilities so you can attend into more sophisticated project or you can start uh, planning bigger for your relationship as well because that is something you can definitely go for so the best possible approach toward prioritizing here, that will be the Nine of Wands. And uh, as I said, shuffling and shifting, this is what the Nine of Wands refer here, because the Nine of Wands in your specific case as an action is about forcing conscious changes in your schedule and in your environment. And obviously, you know, probably, especially by having the past circumstances, obviously something were wrong back then when, when you had to deal with those conflicts which does not concern you directly and this card with the nine of wands only uh, shows us that you will take those precautionary measures or you should rather take those precautionary measures these things to not happen again therefore uh, these changes into your uh, schedule you know um, <clears throat> 
into the way of uh, of what you how you do things etc etc has to take place so you can reshuffle a little bit better you know and with much more ease your priorities and to set them into the correct spot and just so i don't leave you baffled here these changes could be changes uh into the approach of how you take care of your kid these changes could concern renovation of your home they could concern as well uh you know whom you are going through uh, uh, whom you are going with to um have a lunch at your job etc etc but uh, it does look like that you will seek or it should rather it's more potent for you to seek a um improvement in uh in your daily routine either career or relationship wise not by waiting it out to happen on its own accord but for you to put the efforts behind it so you can force those changes you need in order to set the priorities correctly either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship and how the people are going to feel about it uh that will be the nine of wands and that is a um, a, a spark of um a glimpse of hope, spark of hope. They will be quite enthusiastic here, seeing the uh, the eight of wands and uh, a, a help from their behalf is not excluded as well. So, uh, especially a very favorable card if recently you had a serious argument with someone that you are depending on. You know, these people may have lost some let's say hope in your Leo that you will be able to get the job done or you will be you will not be kind of like keep to your word etc etc well that particular fate will be regained back again uh, when they see that you are determined you know to set the things straight to set the things right and to take care for um, for what you're setting in front of yourself as a name and as a goal um, one more thing looking at that card people will find that you are very intelligent or you are coping with uh, the uh, with the issues of your month very intelligently and when we do have the eight of wands that is also um, especially uh, as a follow-up here that is also an admiration because probably they will um, not probably but they will kind of like be amazed of uh, um, the ability of your behalf to capitalize on even the minor opportunities here so you can uh, make your life running more pleasantly and and much much easier than it has to be so it's kind of like you are moving in between the drops which is a, a quite good thing <clears throat> So I approval should you need about something I do believe that approval is what you are going to get as long as you have a reasonable explanation sitting behind it. Now the next card here will show the predicaments that you have to deal with. Obviously a person is what we do have here page of swords most likely career orientated for what it seems someone who is very disagreed with how you set your priorities um, for the duration of the month probably because they think that they are much more important than your priorities so it's, that will be someone very tightly linked to you someone that probably you are working with or someone that um, if it is in your personal life that could be the friend that always wants to spend time with you and thinks it's more important than your relationship etc etc but the thing with that person is that they like to lead arguments I mean they like to twist um, to twist objectives and to twist um, objections as well. So uh, what may happen is that you can involve yourself into a very pointless argument from which there is no one else to profit. And uh, that's why it will, be, it will be advisable here to go on with your logic and not to kind of lean on to foreign logics, especially if those logics are aliens and there is no solid proof behind it to support them. Because these people are kind of like more prone to lay on um, uh, fallacious, um, fallacious proof in the sense of that uh, it's only merely theoretical explanation rather than to have some uh, solid material uh, support behind it. And uh, if you kind of like believe to these people, should I say, or to that person, or you feel any sympathy toward them and try to kind of um, maintain the balance here, not that you will not be able to do it, but the whole month is going to go much more stressful than it has to. So it's better to think for yourself first and then for those people who has not much of a contribution for your uh, 
and performance you know and as well improvement either career wise or relationship wise i do believe that this is a, a friend of yours rather than uh, someone that you you truly depend on this person here that page is depending on you and how you're gonna wrap everything up we do have the ace of swords so uh, at the end we do have a, a very uh, heroic effort should I say or rather like uh, a maneuvers which they don't uh, I can't explain it really well and I'm sorry about that but it's not about even a heroic efforts these are tremendous should I say efforts knowing that there is not much to lose from making them in the same time those efforts will consume rather a lot of resources as time you know nerves and uh, not not material efforts here but rather more um, kind of personal uh, personal energies should I say that way or personal resources what we do have but at the end uh, when you do so uh, the, the the ace of swords is very positive if you don't if you are determined to do something about your matter here regarding relationship or regarding career it is uh, likely that you will improve the circumstances there as well the the ace of swords points that at the end the, the whole picture here the grand scheme of things where your relationship relationship is going toward you know uh, how beneficial you are in the working place that you are currently right now who is your uh, faithful friend and who isn't as well will become much more clearer to you so what my prediction here for the ace of uh, swords is that as soon as you set your priorities straight you reshuffle them and you uh, organize them accordingly you know you're going to see that you do have a lot of gaps to fill with additional responsibilities which or addition, additional aims which is quite displayed here in the tree of wands but it's going to require a certain change into your behavior into daily routine you know and in generally into your code of conduct here displayed with the nine of wands etc etc and that will make you see the things from a very different angle here so that does not ex exclude a um, an insight that you will have my friends that actually you deserve quite a lot from what you're getting right now quite much a lot from what you're getting right now which is going to place you in a spot where you have to give an accurate diagnosis for your current situation for, for your current standpoint and eventually you will have to force those conversations with the people that you depend on how or what is possible to be done in order for you to um, to grow either career wise or relationship wise so that being said leo this was your uh september monthly reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case again you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down below in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye